welcome back to another video. I'm your host Jeff as usual and in today's video we will be speaking about how you can get any car for free within Grand Theft Auto Online after the most recent update that did come out today. Now this is a continuation of a video that I did a couple of weeks ago, so if you have not seen that, make sure you click that eye on the top right hand corner of your screen and that will take you to the video about the subject that I did just a couple of weeks ago. Before I want to hop into today's video, I want to remind you guys to please drop a like rating on this video if you guys enjoyed, as well as subscribe to the channel if you are new, because I do post daily Grand Theft Auto 5 content so why not subscribe. But with that said, let's go and hop right on in. Now before I want to hop into today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to Little Mac. He is a very small streamer on YouTube that is extremely underrated. He posts great content and a lot of let's plays on a variety of different games. So if you want to check him out, link to his channel is in the description down below. So the video I posted a couple of weeks ago about this little method about how to get any car for free got a large response of dislikes because people were not understanding the glitch and what it is all about and also a combination was of people that don't understand it and people that were not even doing it right. So I'm going to answer all those questions in this video as it will completely redo the tutorial and completely do a new voiceover and I'm going to try and make it as easy as possible for you guys to understand. So the first common misconception about this whole method is that it does not allow you to store the vehicle that you want to test out. I say test out is because you don't allow, it doesn't allow you to store it. Now there is another glitch that you can combine with this one that does allow you to store the vehicle and if you want to see that on the channel very soon, make sure you guys drop a like and I'll maybe post that video very soon. But the first thing you guys want to do is load up GTA 5 online, then go over to start and creator. Now we're going to be creating a deathmatch and make sure you start a deathmatch from scratch. Now the deathmatch does make you put in a whole bunch of stuff including spawn points and a whole bunch of other stuff. Now keep in mind that you don't really need to, uh, it doesn't really matter where you place the spawn points. It might seem very very far away from where you're going to place down the stuff that I'm going to be talking about later in this video. But you can always teleport whenever you're testing this little deathmatch by just going to start and clicking wherever on the map you is and you can pretty much just teleport to that location right away. So as soon as you place down the stuff that you need, including the trigger, the photo, the title, etc, etc, you can go over to props and then head over to vehicles and then if you want to place down any of the new cars, it's going to be under muscle, aka lowriders. Just find the car you want to place down and place it down. Now if you don't like the variant or you want to change the color, you can either change the color there or if you don't like the variant, just scroll to the next one and go back to that car and it'll give you a different variant. 9 out of 10 times it usually is fully customized so you're going to be able to get the full experience of the car which is pretty awesome and you don't need to mod it at all. Now as soon as you put in the cars, I recommend putting them in an open area such as Blaine County or whatever, but as soon as you put them in, go over to deathmatch and click test. Now if it does not allow you to test, that means that you did not complete the requirements that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. You need to uh, do all the title, everything. Now whatever has a red exclamation point next to it, you need to complete that and as soon as you complete that, you're going to be able to test out this deathmatch. Now as soon as you start it up, you can turn on god mode by just clicking right down on your d-pad or right on your d-pad and you're going to be able to turn that on and you're going to be able to go over to the cars. Now again, if you spawn away very far away from your cars, don't forget you can always click start and just teleport to your cars by just clicking wherever you want to go on the map. Now as soon as you head over your, to your cars, it is pretty much all yours. You can take the car wherever you want, you can crash it, you can respawn with it. It is pretty much like a whole sandbox mode. And the best part is, is that you can go and save this deathmatch, and then you can play the same thing with your friends, and you can all have a great time. Now again, you can pretty much make a whole sandbox mode out of this. You don't just have to do vehicles, this works for pretty much anything including helicopters, airplanes, pretty much any prop inside the game, you can test it out in this mode. Now again, as I said at the beginning, you cannot store any of these cars in your garages yet, but I will have a glitch or a little method coming out very soon to show you guys how you can do that. Again, these videos are all for fair use, I just want to remind you guys, if you get banned for doing this, that is my responsibility. This is a video that's under fair use policy because I don't encourage you guys to do this and I'm just letting Rockstar know that there is a little exploit inside the game and I'm showing them that they should patch it right away. But again, if you do go on to enjoying this glitch or method, it is at your responsibility and I am not responsible if you get banned. 
But yeah, that is probably going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure you guys drop a like as well as subscribe to the channel if you are new because I do post the daily Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So why not subscribe? Anyways, my name is Jeff. Thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video.